So, now we will be doing here deduction of Ohm's law using drift velocity. You know we know the formula for drift velocity V d is equal to E e tau upon m, where tau is relaxation time. Now, we know also this relation I is equal to A n E V d, where n is the number of electrons per unit volume, E is the charge, A is area of cross section and V d is drift velocity. Replace the value of V d over here, I is equal to A n E into here E e tau upon m. So, we can write I is equal to A n E square in place of E also we can write V upon L, V is the potential difference, L is the length of conductor. So, we can write V upon L m into tau. Now, we can get here V is equal to L m upon A n E square tau into here I. Now, as I have told you about the Ohm's law, physical condition remains constant like temperature, length and area of cross section. So, if L is remain L area and temperature remains constant, then the tau will be also constant here. So, E and mass is already constant. So, we can write here V is proportional to I, V is proportional to I, when here L m upon A n E square tau is constant. And this constant is itself here known as resistance. So, we can write here R is equal to in this case, R is equal to L m upon A n E square tau. This is called the resistance of the conductor. Now, see here the resistance actually is the property of the conductor by virtue of which it opposes the flow of electrons through it. So, the main co cause of the resistance in the conductor is actually collision of the free electrons or, or you can say collision of the moving electron with their ions or atoms. So, resistance is directly proportional from here you can see here the L that is the length of the conductor. We can also say resistance is directly proportional to 1 upon A that is area of cross section inversely proportional to area of cross section. So, larger the area of cross section that means thicker is the wire, more is the less is the resistance. Now, we can also say R is inversely proportional to N, N is the number of electrons per unit volume that actually decides the nature of the conductor. Larger the number of electrons per unit volume better is the conductor, it means less is the resistance. And also here we can write R is inversely proportional to tau. Tau is your average relaxation time or you can say simply the average time intervals between the two successive collisions of the electrons. If the temperature suppose remains constant, this tau will remain constant. If you are increasing the temperature, number of collisions of electron will become more frequent and the tau will reduce and if the tau will reduce then the resistance of the conductor will increase. So, these are the factor on which the resistance of the conductor depends here.